Today I'm talking to you about why 90% of golfers struggle to hit consistently solid iron shots. Uh, most of them are hitting some fat shots, some thin shots, topping the ball and hitting right and left. And this video is going to help you solve that problem. And uh, it's something that I've really worked with for a lot of, lot of years of developing a system that makes it easier for golfers to quickly improve. And that's proven in every school I teach. Uh, every time I interact with one of my clients, either in my online program or in person, and it's really not so difficult. So people are really overcomplicating the golf swing, and I'm here to put a stop to that. So click the subscribe button below, hit the bell to accept notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. And I really look forward to hearing about your success. Um, and really the bottom line, we have to stop working endlessly on our backswing, how to, how to take the club or what position we need to be in at the top of the swing. We have to stop worrying about our head and start worrying about this head. The club head is what's going to determine if you hit a good golf shot or not. Uh, this head hopefully is not thinking about a lot of things in the swing except what's really important. And so what most people are doing that can't hit the ball consistently, they're coming into impact, their body's not turning, and their wrists are doing that. And most of you have worked on that in the past and tried to get that uh, working, but if you're going through this way, you'll hit a good shot from time to time, uh, but that's the problem. It's only from time to time. We need it to be consistent, and my system's going to show you how to do that, and in this video, I'm going to address how to fix it. So we really uh, need to understand that you will never be consistent. It doesn't matter what method you use as long as the grip is not leading the club head through impact. And that means we have to get this grip leading the club head. It doesn't matter what type of shot you're hitting, uh, whether it's a driver, seven iron, wedge, hybrids. Um, if you're not getting the grip leading, you're not consistent. So that's the bottom line. I'm going to show you how to do it here. Uh, very quickly and if you want more information then you can see some of my other videos but we have to just simply focus on very short swings first something like that where the moving from here and then I want you to just move it to there and you'll notice possibly that the right hand is trying to make the club do that and that's obviously not ever going to be consistent and if you in fact if you look at that in slow motion you'll see uh, the club face has a lot of rotation and it doesn't necessarily mean you'll hit it left. You may hit it right, you may hit it left, you may top it, you may hit it thin, uh, you may hit it fat. And so what you need to learn how to do uh, is a couple things at the same time and that's why I use a simple set of drills to teach you how to do that. And if you saw my recent uh, do this drill for five minutes video, uh, there I show you exactly what to do and it's also part of my learning program and basically we have to learn to move so that the grip is leading through impact. To do that and to get that working consistently, especially in a full swing, we need to learn to get the body rotating here ahead of the shot just like as if you were going to throw a ball, your body turns first before the arm goes through. In fact, if you look at your trailing wrist, when you go to throw, it goes back neutral, and as you go to throw, the wrist hinges. And then we release as we want to let the ball go. And so in the golf swing, it should be the same thing. We're going here, it hinges, we go through impact, and it releases. And so my simple drill to fix this is simply setting up, taking the club back, turn the body, and go through to here really, really short, easy swings. The benefit and what you should notice if your hands are on the club, you can check out one of my grip videos, uh, but if your hands are on the club properly, when you slow the, this down, you'll see a square face through impact. You'll see that nice flat spot through impact. You'll see a straighter path through impact, and you'll learn to hit the center of the club face. These are the four important benefits of getting the hands leading, which are going to fix your bad iron shots, but also 
hybrids, fairway woods, driver, pitches, chips, uh, you name it, makes bunker shots easier. My whole system deals with this simple concept, set up in your impact plane and learn to move with the grip leading to impact. So setting up in your impact plane is as simple as just doing this, uncock the wrist, get yourself set up, or set up to the ball where, the way you normally do, and then stand up a little bit until the club's in an uncocked position. That alone helps people start hitting more consistent, good iron shots. So clients of mine sending in videos uh, typically need to work on this simple drill first uh, for a while before they even perfect this. And I know it looks very simple, uh, but we wanna get to the point where we can just set up and do that and it's perfect. And that takes time. So that said, a lot of people working on that, even after the first time spending 10, 15 minutes, go out and hit balls and they hit it better than they've ever hit it. So that's what my hope is for you. Okay. Put any questions or comments in the box below. I look forward to hearing how you're doing. I'm here to help you improve your game as quickly as possible. And I really love hearing stories from my clients who have improved, whether they're do-it-yourselfers or they're subscribed to my program at setupforimpact.com. I want you to play better golf. Uh, and it's a great thing. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.